Hello everyone and they're catching up to us. Oh boy, we've got to keep running. Oh, we've amassed a fair amount of ammo and stick figures, but the forest is doing what it can to keep those out of our hands. Nasty forest. This is the most hateful forest I've ever encountered in my life. Okay, one group of bullets. Oh, oh, hold on, I thought this lantern was supposed to be broken. I can use it by pressing Q, and it, it makes you lift. Okay, it's not, it's not too robotic. <laughs> that arm, yes, that arm. Eh, may as well carry the lantern, why not? Uh oh more people that you might have known had you taken a different path in life. Oh, oh, that's one of yours. Help us, Lieutenant. Gonna listen to him. October 24th, 1863. I have lost one of my men. After the carnage at Gettysburg, I had hoped I would never again have to see one of the men under my command lose their life, but I now know that this was just a delusion. But even during the height of battle, I do not ever recall losing a man so mysteriously. One minute he was there, and the next he was gone. I now suspect that these woods around Burkittsville truly are alive, and that they will be the death of me. Why are you polishing that thing, skunk? In case we need to use it to call for help. You never know when a bugle will come in handy. What about you, Lieutenant? Why do you keep writing in that journal? It helps me think. And it calms my nerves. What do you think, Lieutenant? Are the rebels just trying to scare us? Ain't no rebels, I tell you that. If they's out here, they's dead. Shut up, Mosley! It's got to be the rebels! Right, Lieutenant? I don't know what to think, to tell you the truth. We'll go back to town tomorrow and report to the Major. Maybe he'll know what to do. I sure wish Newhouse was here. He'd know what to do. Stay with me, Private. We'll be okay if we just stick together. Tomorrow, we'll walk out of these woods. I hope she would do that oh, today. God. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's happening again. New house. Shit. It's New House. And Mosley's dead. We're we're all dead men. We are dead men. <laughs> uh, well, why put emphasis on that? <laughs> oh hey, a bugle! And it's still very shiny. Perhaps we can use it to, well, to, well, may maybe these sticks are allergic to bugles or something. Uh, yeah, here. Nope, can't use it. Ah. Oh. Well, where are we going to go now? Oh dear, this one... Oh, I don't like the look of you. Please stay down for eternity. Okay, let's double back, because there was a path up here, and you two are slow. So we're going to take this chance. Aha! <laughs> Another fading moment. So, we've got a bugle. What else can we do? Against us. Ah, 
If only you knew sound magic. Going forward with this. Oh, hang on. Aha, uh -huh. I think we might have to shoot these. These these things up here. At least uh, as soon as we get rid of everything else. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, and well, I'm stuttering a bit, that's odd. Okay, zero bullets, reload. Hello there, ghost. Don't worry, don't don't overexert yourself, just just keep walking at the leisurely pace that you ghosts deserve. Now Notice that you can actually see the bullet holes. That's a nice detail. Okay, good. Ah, get out of here, you! I want to aim up. Oh, that does it. <laughs> Hurrah! The spirits are truly dead now. And they're actually bleeding. And it's not just white ectoplasm. That's odd. Let's just get out of here, eh? Ah, well, a rock. Surely the rocks won't do us any harm. I'm gonna save it. Uh, yeah, third should do. <laughs> More water. Hello? Well... I told you he took flight. Yeah, now it just disappeared, see? Oh. Now, don't want to fall in or anything. Ah! take it quickly. Maybe we'll have a use for it in a forest. Ah! Come on! Use it! Yes! Oh, wait. <laughs> Almost. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah. What the? Oi! Get off of our tree! I own it now. The axe is slower. And wait, put it away. 
And the sword is faster. I see. There we go! Crossed! Back to safety. <laughs> as temporary as safety gets in this game. Okay, now it's very shadowy and very purple. This reminds me of a part of uh, Nocturne. Hey, it's Stoiben! Ah, Mr. Lazarus. It is you, isn't it? Yes, it's me. Very perceptive. For a blind man, yes. As I told you, my other senses have more than compensated for my lack of sight. You never said that, Funny actually. I keep running into you. Yes, well, you're not far from my home. Did you find the Viva girl? No, not yet. It seems as if these woods would prefer that I didn't. Come now. Don't tell me you're starting to believe those old wives' tales about this woods being haunted. I'm not sure what I believe anymore. What was that? I thought you were the expert on the woods out here. October 25th, 1863. Dearest Anne, we haven't slept a wink in this woods all night. I have lost another man in a horrific episode that I do not yet understand. Only one private remains under my command, and he has been horribly affected by the events we have encountered. We have begun looking for a way out of the woods, but seem to be drawn ever deeper into them, despite our best efforts. Sir, I hope you're almost done writing, because we need to keep moving. I'm finished. Let's keep moving, Private. Yes, sir. <laughs> you hey, first, sir. Huh? I see a gate up here. Hurry up. I think it's a house or something. Oh, God. It's a... a graveyard. Then don't run into it. <laughs> if you're so scared, the last thing you want to do is run into a graveyard. Shit! It's happening again! What the hell is going on here? Sweet Mary, Mother of Jesus, why are you doing this? Oh my god, it can't be. It's Newhouse and Mosley. But they're dead! Sir, tell me they're dead, sir. I, I can't take any more. I've got to get out of here! They're dead. Where are you? Why don't you leave me alone? Uh oh. Ah! Did you go this way? I'm not finished here yet. <laughs> not finished. Okay, then you went the other way. But hold on, there might have been something good in that graveyard. Likely as it sounds. Mm. No, actually, nothing good in the graveyard. Don't worry, Private. We're we're jogging for you. I cannot abandon my men. Ah. Well, where did he go then? He, he didn't go forward. So, did he go down here? Nope. No, he didn't go up there. The environment's in uh, this are fairly restrictive I'm not here yet. for being a forest. No, we can't go up there, despite <laughs> despite it looking fine. Okay then, maybe if we actually try going through the graveyard. Hmm. Ah, 
Ah, we have a lantern. Aha! House. And... Well, something good after all. <laughs> we actually have to put away both our weapon and our lantern to be able to do anything. Well, there's nothing else around here, it seems. Well, at least we got something. Certainly better than nothing. I like that you move your lantern as well as your uh, gun when you look up and down. Hmm. Oh my! Ah, stay away from the graves. Sorry about that, dark hand. And hmm. who does this belong to? Lieutenant Robert McNichol. There is little time left. Isn't that... Stoyben, where are you? This way. Hurry! <laughs> Hello there. Ah. Oh no, not good. <laughs> I'm panicking now. Not good. Oop, got one of them. I was hoping that I'd be able to, well, run just beside it and then turn around quickly and shoot it. But apparently we failed. We're going to have to load the game. <laughs> so, next time everyone, we'll continue from where we left off. See you then. Bye-bye.